Hey guys, welcome back. I just got my scrapbooking coach at home box and I wanted to share it with you. So came in this super, super sturdy box, right? So no damage to this packaging. Once again, I think this patch packaging is fantastic. I've seen a lot of subscribers will write the theme, the year and whatnot. And then, you know, be able to put them away so everybody can see the good good. So you get this really nice bright white packaging. Once again, like I said, it has a nice little, look, it just closes. It's like magical closing box. And there's all kinds of info right here. Thank you for your order. For instructional videos or how to use this kit, log in here. Uh, if you need help finding your username, blah, 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 right? If you're a monthly member, you get access to our Facebook community where you get extra classes demonstrating different things you can do with your kit. Go to Facebook, yada, 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 yada at home kit. So help desk, all of that. So you have all of that info, right? Now what Anna does, the owner of the kit, um, is in the group where you log in, I'm sorry, at scrapbookingcoach.com where you log in, she does all of these videos of things she has done with her kit and she just goes off and like, you see her use these kits for such a variety of topics. I'm like, you go girl. Like she just, yeah, she just gets right to it, gets her mixed media on. It's fabulous. Okay. So once again, I will save my little popping friends because I find it to be so great for mixed media. And let's get this kit out. Now this whole kit is based on, or the theme is tea, which I think is so cute and clever. I'm going to put the goodies to the side for now. And then let me get out some scissors. I was fussy cutting something earlier. So the scissors I would normally use are missing in action. I think they're in the other room. So we've got some paper. It is really nice and vibrant. I totally want to get my fussy cut on. Oh, how cute. Okay. Let's see what we have. So let's go from the bottom to the top. Oh, this is pretty. So this is, you know, like pinky, but it's got a touch of blue in it. So it's got like that little tiny touch of orchid in this pink with white polka dot. Oh, and the backside has, it's bakers, right? But look at this. It looks like they're stamped, but there is a very subtle tone on tone background that kind of looks like a ledger or a grid that you can see in there. Super cute. It's like this jolly baker holding up a fab cake. And this side is a super bright dot. So oh, I love the neutral of gray. That will be great for doing all kinds of, um, of matting. Oh, I should have done it this way. So you have front and back of that piece. Awesome. The next thing we have is we've got this nice lemon yellow. Um, it's like a gingham. It's it's so lemon yellow. That's the best way I can put it. Super nice. Oh, and then we've got this white with a teal or a um, aqua teapot. And those are great because they're kind of separate. So you can totally fussy cut them out for things. Super cute. Okay, next. So now we have got a gingham in this tone and it's definitely going more towards lilac, which is fun. And, but wait, and the flip side, it's this gorgeous, distressed, mixed media happiness. So we've got an elephant gray background, right? Gorgeous little wildflowers. We have got some words right here that reads handmade with stitching. We have got, oh look, Earlene Gray. I drink Earl Gray, cute. Uh, we've got this cute little teacup with print. I think it might be poetry. It's some kind of passages and these sweet, sweet little florals. I love them. Look at that cone flower and the daisy, so cute. Next, we have got all of these poems to do with tea. We've got the teacups, which are super cute and then the teapots. Very nice. Now my great grandfather was from England, William Walters by name, 
And, you know, so I grew up drinking tea in the tea set with the little sugar cube. So it's, you know, totally a thing. Now this side, we've got more of an apricot tone with some gorgeous florals. We've got the distressing and we still have the text. And we've got these diamond shapes that are making me get itchy to do fancy things with that. Next, we've got this, and this has all these squares in it. This would be a really fun paper to do different levels of layering with. I think that would be super fun. You can do single squares, you can do fours. I mean, you can really go off with that. And this teapot here, look at this. It's like one of those clear teapots with those balls that you put in and they open up. Gorgeous. That green one totally reminds me of... um the Grand Hotel in um, uh, Mackinac Island. Yes, it does. And then the flip side to that, oh, very pretty. So we've got this whole bluey orchid thing, gorgeous florals, all kinds of writing text bits, very nice. And then the last two pieces, we have got this amazing piece that I wanna cut up all of the gorgeous florals. We have, I mean, guys, look at all of the different varieties. They are stunning. I mean, from these big guys, and mine never flower. I don't know why. I'm doing something wrong. Um, but yeah, they're gorgeous. This is a rose or a peonies. I have roses that look like that, and of course, I have peonies. So absolutely gorgeous floral piece of paper. And then the flip side, we've just got the lines doing do 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 almost kind of chevron -y, kind of doing like my eyes are going like this looking at it so we have that now let's get into the goodies we have got a gigantic stencil i'm going to keep that bag we've got this big old stencil is there any way i can show it to you i have so much going on here look at that stencil guys so we've got a smaller one and then we've got this really large one so that'll be really fun when you're wanting to use a stencil on a 12 by 12 because you'll really be able to see it so we have that. I've got some twine, it looks like, and a mulberry shade. Come on, little twine guy. I tend to like to get my little bin. Bear with me. Oh, it's nice twine. It's like, it's a little rugged. I'm gonna get my, uh, one of my little bins that I put the stuff in that I'm working on. So a really nice mulberry shade of twine, great. We have got some brads in a nice rosy gold tone. Two, three, four, five. So we've got some brads. That is clever. Oh, guys, look at the stamp set. I'm going to grab this again. So our stamp set. Oh, so cute. This is like a tea bag. And then we've got this cute little tea bag. And the piece goes up with a heart. There is a tea cup. The word details. The word fabulous. We've got this gorgeous teapot here and then a little poem quote kind of thing. Super cute. Guys, this totally reads as a tag to me. So don't worry about it. If you don't want to pretend it's a tea bag, then just make it into a little tag and done. And it, this little bit around here totally looks like stitch marks. So that is super fun. And then... Oh, but wait, so right here we have two like non-consumable things. So great for building out a mixed media library. Then the next thing we have, let me show you this. We've got these little tags in a mustard tone. And they look like little tea bags again. But once again, oh, and there's a little spot where you can, you know, pop a hole. But guys, there's this gorgeous mustard that's going to pop right off your page. They've got a tiny bit of a sheen, so that will really show. Our alpha, it's kind of a, um, it's not quite a script font, but it's definitely not like your straight up and down like Times New Roman kind of vibe. Uppercase, lowercase, a little bit of numerics, stars, hearts. Oh, I think that's a pound sign. Is that what it is? <laughs> Couple more stars that are open, and that will be fabulous. The black will totally pop, and you won't have any kind of a white outline with this. So if you want a white outline, then you know, pop it onto something. Or just see how it's like totally black. Very cool. And then finally, and I think this is so fun, we have got rose gold gold leaf in here. 
there's a number of sheets in here. I don't want to totally take it out because stuff will go everywhere. But look at that delicate, rosy gold leaf. And guys, this sticks to any kind of adhesive, so I cannot wait to play with this. Like put it in the floral centers, all of that. And let's see, while I design this month again, I'm going to have my sketchbook sketches volume two with me. There's 525 sketches. They are fabulous. So you just pick it up. You're like, yep, that's what I'm going to do. And you're done. So I'm going to have links down below where you can get your hands on this kit. Um, mine will be affiliate links. So for the for the kits guys you know get a subscription for the sketchbook all that i will have the links down below now the affiliate links you don't have to use them but it just helps to support my channel a little bit because i pop a lot of content on here so phew i'm gonna get going with all of the things my friends i want to start playing with this stuff i'll have a couple of layouts up before you know it and guys i'll see you guys ever so soon with another video Bye for now, friends.